All right, 357 Magnum versus 9 millimeter and short barreled handguns. And today, what I have is the Spear Golda ammunition. Now, our 357 Magnum is a 135 grain short barrel. In 9 millimeter, I have not never been able to find the short barrel variant of the Spear Gold Dot. So, what I chose today was 147 grain for a couple different reasons here. One is I don't think I've ever shot gel with this before. So, it would be interesting to see what a 147 grain gold dot will do will do and two is because you know it makes a pretty good smaller handgun load because a heavier bullet to push deeper in the case to use a little bit less powder charge so typically it seems to be more reliable and with less recoil and a smaller handgun so it'll be kind of interesting to test to see what we get between 357 magnum and nine millimeter in short barrels and i really like testing this because you know in our bullet travel in our guns is pretty much identical in these two Tauruses here, our Taurus G2C and our Taurus 605. So I always have a lot of fun testing, you know, guns that are essentially the same size. So we're gonna go through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time. Then we're gonna do our clear ballistic test, which includes four layers of denim, followed by about three inches of clear ballistics, followed by a um, quarter inch medium density fiberboard to represent our ribs or sternum hit and to more clear ballistics and typically this takes away about two inches of clear ballistics penetration if the bullets expand exactly the same which they pretty much never do but when they do it's a two inch difference so we're going to shoot it with our mdf to represent our ribs of the sternum and then we're going to take that out and we'll shoot it without that to represent our gut shot and see how all these rounds will, will compare to each other and then we're going to do our practical accuracy i'm going to shoot from 25 yards and see what kind of practical accuracy i can get on our full-size steel silhouette so let's get started with this test all right i'm about five yards from the target four yards from the chronograph first up we have our nine millimeter i don't know its rated velocity uh, generally a 147 grain is something like a thousand feet per second it's rated out of a four inch barrel so let's see what we get here with our taurus g2c 147 grain gold dot 940 953 954 so good accuracy you know easy to shoot pretty consistent velocity let's see what we get with our 357 all right 357 i don't know it's rated velocity so let's just see what we get 950. i pulled that one so i didn't get a read interesting 1052. 1096. For some reason, it's not wanting to read. Let me run a few more. All right, I've backed up to seven yards. Generally, when that happens, it happens out of short barrels where there's a lot of unburnt powder. So I'll see if I can get another read from seven yards to where we're not going to catch that powder blocking the sensors. So let's see if I can get. 1030 1075 1075 so we got our five shot average there let's hit our ballistics gel block and see what we get all right first off we have our nine millimeter we're gonna go through our four layers of denim three inches of clear ballistics a quarter inch medium density fiber board to represent our ribs or sternum and to more clear ballistics so Let's see with what we get with our 147 grain 9 millimeter. 9 All right, so it looks like we got expansion. We caught that bullet there. It's almost coming off the side of the block, but we didn't really get... Um, over penetration, we're looking at about, it's hard to tell from this angle with our widescreen camera here, but we're at about 15 or maybe 14 and three quarters. Typically that represents like 16 and three quarters, but we probably won't get exactly the same expansion, but that's still impressive to get that with 
a 147 grain because a lot of times they don't want to expand. So let's go through our plain clear ballistics and see what we get. All right, plain clear ballistics. Let's see what we get with this. All right, so we did not get expansion with that, but we're at 18 and a quarter. So it's not over penetrating. It looks like it probably tumbled. So getting expansion through our ribs or sternum and then, you know, you kind of see that there and then not getting it through just the plain gel. That's, that's not too bad because we're not over penetrating. So let's see how our 357 does. All right, 357 Magnum through our MDF. Let's see how this will do. All right, so pulling this out, we got the same type of thing going on here. We definitely got some expansion a little bit in that first three inches. And what we're looking at here, better expansion. We're at about 11 and three quarters, which would typically be 13 and three quarters without the MDF. But like I said, you know, it's it's very rare to get the exact expansion. So let's try it with our plain clear ballistics and see what we get. All right, plain clear ballistics. Let's see what we got with our 357. All right, so with our MDF shot, we had a damage path of about 11 and three quarters. This is about 13. So a little bit different equation, but it's probably because we had better expansion. It looks like we had better expansion anyways with the plain clear ballistics shot. So that's gonna slow it down a little bit more. But what we're definitely seeing here though is being at about, you know, 13, it's actually about 13 and a quarter or so. Uh, versus 11 yeah 11 and three quarters we did not get uh, over penetration for sure and we actually got you know pretty much the good penetration um a little bit shallow but i mean it's within it's within the 12 to 18 inch protocol so we're dumping a lot of energy really quickly with that round so overall that's pretty good uh, let's shoot from 25 yards see how these rounds will do for accuracy all right 25 yards nine millimeter let's see how this does Uh, not as tight a group as I'd want. Let's see what I can get with the uh, 357 from 25 yards. All right, let's move back a little bit and just see if we can keep making hits. All right, 50 yards from our target. Let's see what I can do with this nine millimeter. All right. 357 Magnum short barrel. All right, so I missed that first shot. So my overall assessment of this ammunition is the, the 90 millimeter actually did well and, and you're going to ask well, why you got one that didn't expand but in the terms of 147 grain nine millimeter especially in a short barrel almost nothing expands really well i mean the hst probably would but most other rounds any other round i've ever tested in gel that's 147 grain we just we struggle so the fact that we're not that high velocity not that high recoil all that 
and yet it's still expanding through our MDF shed. That's actually pretty impressive because a lot of times we don't even get that. The 357 mag, what I'm gonna say about that is, I've been asked for like three years, you know, what's the best numb nose 357 mag load? And I've tried and I've tried and I've tried to find something where we're talking about um, like Golden Sabres because they're a little bit reduced um, recoil loads or American Gunner being a little bit reduced recoil and power. And I've taken all these loads that are a little bit reduced power, a little bit reduced recoil. And I've tried to figure out, you know, out of all these rounds, what's the best 357 load? And all of them fail in some way, but this one did not. So when we look at a 357 Magnum short barrel load, this is where it's at. Our recoil was not that high, honestly. It's very shootable and we had very good performance. So if anybody wants to know exactly what is the best 357 Magnum snub nose load, that's gonna be it because I've tried everything you can think of. And if they perform, they have so much recoil. I'm not even really explaining it in those videos, but it feels like shooting a 357 or a 44 Magnum. That's honestly what they feel like in that little snub nose. But our gold dot short barrel 357 is that one exception where it's not that brutal of recoil and it performs the best. So that's the one you want. So that's what you get today. Uh, pretty good ammo overall, I suppose. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.